Hello everybody and welcome once again to Surviving with Blood Magic. This episode we are going to do some more ritual stuff, I think. We're going to make a few bits and pieces. Um, want to dismantle the rituals, that's quite a cool thing. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't done it before, to be honest with you. I suppose there haven't been that many rituals to dismantle. There is one, of course, that you only use, tend to use once, and that was the one to upgrade the living armor. The can't remember the name of it. Um, but the others you tend to stay. Anyway, let's ha and we're also going to do some harvest and um, farming. So, so let's get started. So in here we've got the bits and pieces I would like to use today. We need to make uh, the Electra, or Lytra. I think I mispronounced it the whole time. So anyway, the Lytra and the book. We're going to do that. We're going to create an armor upgrade tomb. This is actually, I don't know why you couldn't find it. If you, find the, if you look for the uses of this, it doesn't really tell you. But if you look for Elytra in here, you'll see that it, you've got these ones here, the armor upgrade tomb. It doesn't tell you how to make it, but there is one. And what you do is you put in, in here a book and an elytra with 30 um, LP. I need to go and get the LP. I think I've put all my stuff away somewhere. Probably one of these chests. Uh, not that one, not that one, not that one. Where have I put it today? Oh, tell you what, I'll be back in a second when I found it. Right, it's in this chest. Of course, it has to be somewhere else. You, you know, just typical. Um, something else I'm going to make. I'm going to make another whole uh, sigil of holding. I won't do that. So I'll just do that off camera. We've done it once already, I think. And I want to change some colours of these purple boxes. Let's do that first of all. I want to change this one. Let's make this one like blue, like that. And I want to change one of these I've got over here. Let's make it white, I think. Not that one. You can colour them. The standard colour is purple. It does tell you purple shulker box. Let's have a white one. That. And then we can put those down again. Well, I'll put that one down. I want the other one with me, I think. So we've got a little bit of difference between the two. We can see what's in. I've actually can see what's in anyway because I've got a press shift and I think I can see because I've got the one probe uh, add on attached to the helmet. So anyway. That was that. So I need 30 LP. So let's get 30 LP out of here. That's quite a few, but there's plenty and plenty. <laughs> what do we have? 106 levels or something like that. So now we can make this. And it actually costs, when we do this, 30 LP. And when we have to apply this, it's going to cost 20 upgrade points. Does it tell you if there's an upgrade points in here? So we have a look at here. We we'll press Shift M. On that you'll see that we've got 267 so that's going to give us 208 use 287 when we apply this so let's do that so now we've got this new upgrade now we'll look at the upgrades so now we've got which ones have got elytra level one i think there's only only one elytra level one and you press shift and m on here so now we have 23 upgrade points which is just enough we've got 21 for healthy to go up and then we'll be up to that we've still got the um the healthy training brace braces in here so we should be all right with that one now next thing i want to make another um division Come on, what it's called now? <laughs> Oops, that's really bad. I'm having a bit of a brain fart at the moment. So let's just have a look at the uses of this one. A ritual diviner, that's the one I want. I'm going to make another ritual diviner. And I'm going to use this ritual diviner to make, if you have a look at this and have a look at the uses of that one, we can make a dusk one, but in the Hellfire Forge with two destructive will and one weak blood shard and 100 will, we can make a, a dismantler. So hopefully I've got all the bits and pieces and the only one I was worried about was this one here. We've got plenty of will in there. So two of those and one of those in the Hellfire Forge. So of course we have to split these up. You can't put them in together of course, because otherwise they don't stack. And a weak blood shard and some will. And 100 will out of that, so it'll be three, four, nine, six, won't it? And yep. And then we get this divine, this one. <laughs> this is really cool. Um, Actually, where have I put the other ones thinking about that? I think they're in here, aren't they? I don't need anything up in here particularly. 
Oh, no. I tend to put stuff in one of these chests. Ah, oh, here we are. So we need these, probably need some of these tinkers. Uh, this, unfortunately with this one it's a bit of a nuisance because it doesn't work as well as it should do. It's a shame about that. I don't need transposition, so you probably don't need demonic. And I think that's possibly all. That's looting two, but we've got looting three on here. And we've got uh, sharpness five and leech. If I get some more looting, I'll put it on that one, I think. So the next thing. I'm going to, yes, I'm going to take these with us. Destructive will. I know I need this stuff in here like this. Um, but look at the uses of the, these. I was going to make, yes, I was going to upgrade. That's what I've got this other bits and pieces in for. I was going to upgrade these other crystals, but I'll do that. I don't need to do that now. So that was weak blood shards and that one, wasn't it? Um, and the demonic slates, I think that was those things. So let's go over to the other base now and have a look at two rituals. One of the rituals is just as a little bit of lag when you just go to bed over here. I set these up just for the sake of it. This ritual here is the ritual of regeneration, and it's supposed to fit inside the ritual of um, this one here. So this is the ritual of um, well of suffering. So let's just dismantle this. You just simply right click there and it dismantles the whole of that. You get back in here the ritual stones of use, 36. So we can take that one. So we, you're supposed to be able to put these two inside each other. So let's try that. Obviously it's got to be one block above ground because you've got these ones sitting here. Um, so let's put down this one and get the well of suffering out of this one here. That's the call of the zephyr. I don't want that one. And I think it will probably be after that one. The Well of Suffering, exactly. So, oops, again, I pressed the wrong button. I want to press E, and I, what I want to have is just put down the Master Ritual Stone, and this will use 36 runes, as you see. So let's just jump. If I press jump, if I'm jumping up now, because I've got this jump thing, if I press Shift and jump, it's much easier. So now we can take the ritual diviner and we can put these down here like this and you should see it all fitting in nicely to each other i'm just wondering if we can see anything by moving backwards a bit it doesn't you reuse the stones like the other one but it all sort of fits together and so this the idea of this is when you've got um let's have a look I've actually got four ritual stones too few. I wonder if it activates. Let's just try to activate this. If it activates and it's reusing st stones. If it doesn't activate, it so it has saved four stones. Which is also <laughs> which is always good, of course. So the idea is when you've got your mob farm, you're giving them health and you're taking their health away at the same time. The regeneration is slower than the killing, as it were, or the well of suffering. So you, the mobs will die, but they'll give you more blood so that's that one so now i'm going to take this apart now having done that <laughs> i'm going to take both of them apart we're going to build another one like that did that not actually break these oh dear <laughs> it didn't work then <laughs> did it so i've only got 40 back 40 back oh interesting so i'll have to break these up um i think if i just do, use this one on here will help a bit. I'm not sure what else is going to break. A bit, but not so much. I don't trust it doing it further than that because you never know what you're going to break. It's supposed to do a 21 by area, so that means 11, 11 across. So. So the one we're going to do next is the mark of the falling tower and i think that goes on the ground don't need the space in there like that so we'll put it we'll put the master ritual stone down here and remove that one i think that's probably a good place to put it maybe i need to go up one level because of the other the other things in here like that so let's get out the ritual diviner and set it up so the mark of the falling t uh, tower i think it's called something like this i want to see it i remember it mark of the falling tower exactly 
So how many how many ritual stones does that need? 108. How many have I got? <laughs> 100. No, I've got 80, haven't I? I need to go get some more ritual stones. And I think I should have some of those in my chest over here. Oh, by the way, my villages are expanding rapidly as well. Yeah, I've got another 56. That's 128. Oh, plenty now. We, got, we don't need to worry about that. And this is quite an this is quite an impressive one, but it's actually slightly tricky to do. So that's why I'm going to set it up like this. So we'll stand on it right simply right click until we get all our hundred and eight stones prepared. And it will form a circle above it. I don't know how long it takes to do until the till the green particles stop doing it. Right, they stopped. Now we can act, act, activate this ritual. Now the documentation, I've got the book not with me, of course I don't have the book with me. As usual, I should go back and get the book. I also want to get back a dropper as well and so I'm going to set up a platform up there. So I'll be back in a few seconds with the bits and pieces that I need. Right, I think I've got everything we need. So here's the recipe, this is the information about the Mark of the Falling Tower. And there's two bits in here which are actually incorrect. Let's have a look. For all intents and purposes, this is one of the most powerful rituals currently in the game. It costs 1 million LP. It doesn't. It costs 5 million LP to activate and can only be used once before needing to be reactivated. The ritual, once specified sacrifices are made, specific sacrifices are made, pulls a meteor from outer space and causes it to plummet towards the ground, causing a large explosion once it hits something solid. Because these meteors are not from the overworld, they can they hold a rich, they can hold rich ores density never seen anywhere else. Sacrifices can include an iron block, a gold block, a diamond. It's not a diamond; it's a diamond block. At least by default, of course. And it says this can be configured by the mod pack or the user, so we can actually configure it. But the default is a block of diamonds. Uh, so what we're going to do. I'm going to drop it. I'm going to first of all set up on top of this a dispenser, I think. So to do that, we're going to set that down three blocks here. So we want to put the dispenser just one block above, a uh, dispenser, I mean a dropper. We'll put a dropper just one block above this, like that. And then we can knock out this one. In fact, we can knock out these two, can't we? That, and then we can put underneath this a dropper. Facing down. So then the idea is we can then uh, apply it to that redstone signal. Um, I'm just wondering how to do this. So a redstone signal will cause this to drop something out. So let's just put in, for example, a piece of a stone because that's not going to have any effect on it. So I've got my block of diamonds ready for this. I've actually got nine obsidian to make a platform above it. So we need to make a platform three or four blocks above the, the ring here to prevent the the meteor destroying the whole of the um, uh, of the ritual. So what I'm going to do to do this, I'm going to power this with um, a redstone. So let's just come back down here and put one more block underneath this again. I think I'll do it like this. And I want to want to do is I want to be able to just power it so we can actually see, and it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters about these being in the way here. Well, obviously it does matter about this one. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of redstone on top of this. I'm going to put a a repeater with a delay of four ticks, like that, or three ticks, whatever the ticks are, and then we'll put down some redstone down here. Um maybe here and then possibly i can put a button on top of it onto this one um let's, let's remove that actually if i put a button on onto here like this let's make a button quickly it should then drop the coal a oh, coal did i say coal i mean the did it drop that I don't see it drop it. I probably got my signal of magnetism on. Let's have a look. Yes, I have. Let's just turn it off in case I have. Right. So there's a block in there now. So if we click this, it, 
he should have dropped it out yes there it is and it's it's hanging on top of that perfect so that's the reason i want to do that is because i want to do it from back here when it, when we do this thing so now we need to set up a, a ring of obsidian above this now it's fairly easy to do this we've got the stone here like this we're going to get four blocks from this level so we need to get one more level so i'm going to hold space and shift and jump uh, jump and split there we go so one come on <laughs> two i've got to press space each time course not doing it very fast come on i don't want to do jump up like this because it's too too much normally so i think that's three four and it doesn't really matter to be honest with you it's just convenient wherever we put it so now i'm going to build a, a platform of nine obsidian like this so it's going to be three in each direction like this oops that was a mistake <laughs> and it sort of does matter so let's just break this down have i got my efficiency pick no i'm gonna to have to use a slow one it's not that slow but it's slower than the efficiency five i should find an efficiency five but sometimes efficiency five is too efficient i prefer it not to be like that okay so now we have our block of four i can remove these blocks here i don't need these anymore so we'll do that We don't need that either. So now all we need to do is to activate this, put a block of diamonds in here. Let's put the block of diamonds in here like this. And then we need to activate it. So before we activate it, we're going to check our LP. So it's single. So we've got 10 million LP. So now we activate this. And I don't think that changes the the usage of this until you've actually it's still got 10 million until you actually put the block of diamonds in there. So now let's put the block of diamonds on it step back a little bit see if we can see this thing coming back there it goes but um and as you see that's uh <laughs> quite a quite a dense set of ores we've just dropped down on top of this i think you need three or maybe just one block anyway so now we have this and what we can do now of course we can harvest all of this let's just take the middle block here with diamonds and not do that yet let's just do this I've got my inventory is full, isn't it? Let me just empty out my inventory. Otherwise, everything I'm going to be picking up is going to be dropping in some funny places. So let's just control space that out. Is there anything I want in here at the moment? Yes, we'll keep that on us because otherwise we'll get other upgrades that we don't want. So try that again. Oh, we didn't take the LP, you see? So you see it's now 5,048,000. So you see it's gone up. It's going up all the time because of my witches doing me a great, a great service. So let's right click this onto here now. And you'll see that's taken half of this away and hasn't destroyed anything else, which is great. And then we'll do the other half over here like this. And you'll see I've actually picked up my nine obsidian. Well, maybe you don't really want to do this. But let's just have a look at what we've actually got. So we've got 64 plus 28 diamond ore 31 emeralds as you can see um 21 gold iron 12 redstone and lapis too now if you use if you use um a gold block on there you'll tend to get a lot of gold as opposed to having this so now we can if i want to do that again i've got to set it all up again but i'm not going to do that again what we're going to do now is to remove this uh construction because we're finished with it so let's get the stuff back out of my chest here um no first thing i'm going to just just put it away aren't i the the ores that we've got so let's come over here i think this is where i keep my ores here we are so we can space those off there like that take those out we don't want those in there we don't want that in there then we can sort that so these are the raw ores that we've got so we've got no shortage of diamonds from that one five million lp of course five million lp costs us nothing because it's the witches which are giving it to us. So now, let's take the... Oh, I need to get the stuff out back out of this chest, don't I? Let's take the ritual dismantler and have a go at dismantling this. Probably, I'll be interested to see if it actually does work. Yeah, it does this time. Fantastic. And you'll see all of this here is actually being left. So we'll just break this down. 
don't need, of course I don't need to break the that down of course I've got my thing off now let me just go and put my magnetism back on again to pick up the rest of the stuff so the next thing we're going to do having done that is to set up a farm Whew. actually I'll show, you, I'll show you something else that's a bit fun as well here I've got a a minecart and I've got inside it it's actually got a boat inside it let's just get into this thing because we can press W and it goes backwards and we should stop in the station here now if I right if I turn the station off so it does carry on this boat will go round and round this track what well, did last time shall we say oh yes I did manage to break something I shouldn't have done and it doesn't stop like that now normally a cart won't go that far and now it'll go faster and it'll carry on going around there it's because it's going the boat you see here I've got these two other things here let me just put some stuff out of this so I put these back on the I don't need these two anymore anyway so let's just remove those out of that probably need the frame so let's just put the frame back up on, on the thing well, if we're going to do another one we might have to do another one I probably would do stormtrooper let's put this down take the ritual dismantler back farm so let's just dig down a bit here to make a farm um what i'm going to do is make a two rituals for doing this the harvesting ritual here uh, and the um growing ritual right okay that's a bit vague isn't it let's have a look so in here so it's one of the early ones so i think probably in serado yes it's one of these the ritual of full spring this is the one that gives you water it's a bit confusing because you'd expect that one to this is the one that gives you makes cobblestone that's the heart this is the one for harvesting trees this is the one the green grove now the green grove grows crops in the area but it doesn't harvest them so they're into interdiction uh siphoning uh, ritual speed ritual grounding high jump laying of the filler this is one that you can actually use to plant crops ritual of suppression ritual call of the zephyr gate of the fold ritual of the shepherd makes animals grow faster containment prevents mobs escaping i think crusher magnetism where's it gone to harvest moon there we go this is the one reaper the harvest moon this one plants things in here now how many stones we need um 24 so that means it's a five by five area so we're going to build dig down and make a five by five area in front of this one so i think the middle is say here that five no. yes that'll be a five by five area um i think i should also put some stuff away in this chest for the time being i don't need the dropper and the these bits for the time being they were they were for the mark of the falling tower right so that's five in that direction now that should be a five by five it is we need to go back down one more there because this thing will only harvest things crops above it we lay down the middle in here we lay down the, the middle bit the middle rituals there we go the master ritual stone here like that and then we can stand on this and then we can just do the the harvesting here like this and then activate the we need to activate it let's do that as well doesn't use it doesn't use a huge amount of things to activate this and then on top of that we're going to place the next one which is the the one for the um, growth in fact I'm up one level too high I'll fix that and come back in a second actually I'm wrong it's not five by five it's a seven by seven I think let's carry on with this because I tried to activate it and it didn't activate as you can see here it's gone out now seven by seven um, which means of course that the uh, 
the next one we're going to do, it doesn't actually have, if that works, yes, that's, and it's, it's now throwing, flowing through the um, thing. But the Ritual Diviner, well, this dismantler, only works for activated rituals. That's why it didn't work last time, because they hadn't activated the, um, the regen one. If we'd activated the we would have seen it actually regening as ourselves. So the next one was the Green Grove. Um, not the Green... Gosh... Yes, this one. It is a green grove, isn't it? Yep, crops in this area. This only does a three by three area. It's interesting. Let's have a quick look at that. This one just doesn't seem water, uh, water and earth ruins. Well, that's air, so that's no use. You can't do it. So the water and earth, it has to be one level above this. But of course, the if you then you might have to put it up here if you want to have a lot of crops growing. So the time we're only going to do one like that. So we'll put this one down here like that, and then put this on top of it, stand on top like that. Activate this, and then it's ready. So we're all you need to do now is to fill in this area here. Um, I'm just thinking to myself, how am I going to do this? Do I want to fill in these blocks here? To be honest with you, no. And what I'm going to do is make sure I light it the area. <laughs> It'd probably be easier. So let's just take the, the blood lamp one out of here and get this thing lit up. Let's press F4 on here. Um, make sure we're actually lighting up the bits. I think one of these will do. It'll just put them in the corners here. I'm not sure if that'll make a difference when there's, when it's all covered up with dirt. It'll probably be alright actually. So let's just cover it up with dirt. Uh, I've only got one piece of dirt, but I've got some gra grass here. Because cause I've got um, silk touch on this pick here oh. yes on, on the pick when I'm doing when I'm doing dirt I'm getting well I'm doing grass I'm getting grass so it's as simple as that really and the one dirt one is here like that so all we now need to do <laughs> yes that was very smart I didn't actually mark the center of this did I um, but it should be this center point here. So let, we'll just where the nine is. So let's go and get a, a hoe and start to hoe this area. I've actually got some hoes, I think. So they should be in here. Um, no hoes in there. We'll make an iron hoe. We've got plenty of iron these days. So we don't need to worry about how could he make a diamond hoe for that matter. Oh, hello. Did I pick up his potatoes? I did. <laughs> In fact, if I break this, if I break this block here, might be a good idea. We've got the master ritual stone underneath it. Great. We can actually put a block of water on that. So, so let's put a block of water on it. Of course, I could do it outside. It doesn't matter very much. Like that. So these should then hydrate, as you can see. This one failed. Well, fortunately, I've got potatoes with me, so I can grow some potatoes. So now, if we put these down here like this, we should see the green sparkly effects of growth. To have a quick check, because in my... I, do I have a... No, I don't have the, that particular sigil with me. It is activated, isn't it? I did activate this one. We can easily find out. Let's just right-click it on with it. This one. Um, information. All right, okay. So this one is actually another one of these ones with, that deals with will. So you can say, so it grows crops within a specific area. Then it tells you what the different one. So, so raw will will increase the area, will increase the speed of all ritual operations. Okay. Corrosive will, uh, will <laughs> uh, cause plants to attack. Um, What's it say? Entities. Uh, seeds are replanted in blocks with steadfast, hydrated for high, automatically hydrated, okay? Um, and eventually increases the rate of a growth tick. Now, is there anything that actually increases the area of it? No. Anyway, you can see from this, they actually, they are growing faster. And what should happen next is they should, in fact, be, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? They should be harvested as soon as they're growing up and then dropped. So we need to get these harvested first of all. It shouldn't take too long before they start to do that. So in the meantime, we're going to set up the call of the Zephyr. Unfortunately, I don't have everything I need for me with that one. Let's turn off the still like this anyway. So the call of the Zephyr is we need some more obsidian. We need four obsidian. I don't no blocks of coal. I don't have any obsidian. Or oh, do I have a master stone in here? No, I don't. I didn't. Okay. No, he did pick those up last time. And you see this this boat's going around, and you'll notice that the distance is far too long for that. So they haven't started to do this yet. I tell you what. I'll come back in a second when I have got the bits and pieces we need for the uh, corn or the zephyr. See you in a second. Oh, well, you saw that working last time. Anyway, so you'll see that these are, these have grown up already. Uh, what did we get? So we got seven potatoes. Um, let's just put on top of this the corn or the zephyr. So what I'm going to do is to set down a ritual stone here. It needs to go up two blocks. So we need to go one block here and then another block on top of this. Like that, and then the ritual master ritual stone can go to the right, in in the middle of this, like this. And that should be enough because, if we put that down there. We can then break these down onto the side here, and then we can set up the call of the zephyr. Let's do that. Can't remember which way around. I think it is this to the right. There we go. And then we can set this up like this. So that's now activated. We just need to put a chest on top of it. I wonder if a shulker box will do. So I'm not sure. We've got this chest here. Let's tell you what, let's put this shulker box down here. Take the stuff out of the chest in here like this. Um, and put it into the shulker box, which is the ones I didn't need. Because I did actually remove some bits and pieces when I was over the other side just collecting the bits that I needed for this drop was the other thing wasn't it yes so I can break this just away now oops try again what am I doing down under the ground oh, that's weird <laughs> uh, what's happening here Let's just press uh, F5, it's, it's not working, I must have got some key pressed. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, that was weird. Oh, I can't jump on this today, let's just try again. Cool, got it. So let's just put the chest on top of this now. It's the easiest place, defaults will work, will work. and this will then pick up the all the potatoes it needs in there and after a short while we'll have a full chest of potatoes and especially if we put down the ones that we've already grown out down like this it'll be very fast we'll come back in a short while if I remember and look at that again and we shall see how many potatoes we've got so that's the harvesting one obviously it's actually harvesting stuff out here as well so for example but it won't be making these grow fast because of the the green grow one. So we could put down say one potato say here, here and here uh, see if they actually get done. So seven by seven is that's three by three, five by five, seven by seven. So this one here shouldn't get harvested. We'll see. Actually I might as well put those potatoes in here. Oh that was the button I didn't need either. Put a quick sort on that and then break this. Then we've got it with us, of course. Just put, I just put these away. I don't need these for, with us for the next, for the time being. Well, I'm out of time. But let's just do. Let's just see if we can actually get this the flight to work. I haven't tested the flight yet, have I? So let's just jump up and then press the space bar when we jump up. And there we go. So now we actually fly. With a lighter flight here so you can see that's actually working if i press um wait down to come down here it should jump up again press f5 
Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> I have to press F5 before I land. Let's just do that. Let's press F5. Oh, yep. Let's try that again. Oh. There you go, you see. <laughs> well, that looks quite sweet, doesn't it? So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it all. It's it's actually quite a lot of fun doing these rituals. There are still three more rituals we'll cover um, in the next episode or two. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.